Hi, everyone. Uh, this is a uh, ME uh, 675 thermoelectric material. Um, let me see. Yeah. We can. Uh, we discussed last time. One dimensional particle. We're going to discuss that. And uh, we have a uh, wave functions and uh, we're able to compute the energy and uh, since this is electron uh, we cannot see electron but we can we anticipate we can see probability okay and uh, actually, this I think I think is uh, we can see probability because uh, of um, atoms. We can see the atoms probability and uh, something electrons. Um, some electrons um, trapped by uh, another uh, atoms on the uh, copper, I think. The, uh, so that we can trap electron and show the probability, actually. That's what I, I haven't read uh, any books it's my interpretation anyhow so we discuss quantum numbers uh, yes. Hi. and uh, i can use a uh, large yes So the uh, atom, atomic uh, energy, we, we compute it. This is a binding energy. And then um, the quantum mechanics. Uh, and then um, we figure out uh, the quantum number. Uh, the first quantum number is we call N principle. And then second quantum number, angular quantum. You can raise question anytime. You can stop me. It's okay. I'm not gonna, gonna go over a lot of homework, but uh, some homework, yes, I will. And then I am uh, move on. So basic uh, fundamental. I'm going to discuss repeat. So that. Um, uh, the first quantum number, second quantum number, uh, second quantum number turns out uh, uh, there is a, um, uh, we named it, uh, the sub, subshell, okay? We have to understand the subshell concept because quantum number has a, a number of subshell. So if n is one, is uh, there is no, but n two, there are two subshell, and uh, quantum number three, there are three subshell. So the name it um, S P D F. Okay. So PDF, S is, uh, 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 so we can see that 
the each quantum number and then third even third um, second third quantum number um, each subshell can have uh, as many as according to the rules so um, um, the if the uh, the first uh, second quantum number is one, then there uh, uh, could be three, uh, up to three uh, states. Okay, don't ask me. I don't know why. <laughs> it's, uh, um, and then uh, uh, the second uh, quantum number, there are five. Okay, state possible zero. Or, something like that. So summary, summary is we, we uh, table 64, um, quantum number one is a uh, orbit number. And then quantum number two, quantum number three, quantum number four, orbit. But, but quantum number two, there could be two subshell. Okay, so S and P and uh, uh, third quantum number, there are three S, P, D possible. So, um, the, in order to understand the electron, I think we have to understand the quantum numbers. Okay, that's why we are discussing um, the quantum number four. Uh, there are, are four, and then each has the quantum the total quantum number. So we counting um, the first quantum number one, just one, and then second quantum number. There are two subshell. There are one, two, three. So three, one and three state, and then uh, the the third quantum number. There are three subshell. One, three, five states and etc. One, two, three, four states. This is the possible state, okay? But uh, according to Pauli uh, exclusion principle, as long as uh, the spin different direction, it can have up to two because different spin. So that each state can have uh, one more, two state. This is the final state. So quantum number one, there are two. Quantum number two, there are two subshell, each shell two and six maximum, no more than that. Something like that, two, six, 10, two, six, 10, 14, okay? Um, so this is possible uh, total, uh, I put the number, of uh, um, electron, the quantum number one is a maximum two, quantum number two is two shell, altogether eight possible, and the quantum number three is two, six, ten, eighteen possible, including uh, uh, the uh, uh, Pauli exclusion principle something like that. So um, when the, you know, when it reaches the maximum quantum number two, it's a very stable. That's why mostly uh, the, uh, this quantum number two helium is very noble gas, we call it. Okay. Um, and uh, quantum number eight, I think uh, we have a, a periodic table. Um, let me let uh, yeah. Okay. So look at that. When it reaches the maximum. 
uh, number for the quantum uh, number. So two is the maximum for quantum number one. And then quantum number two, it is 10. Three is 18. So most of this is noble gas gases, very stable. Okay, one more proton, it become totally different lithium from helium gas to lithium. Neon to sodium, totally different. Argon to K, it's totally different. So um, I think uh, uh, we, we understand because it requires much more energy to have a jump from the uh, noble gases. Okay, so um, let's go back to uh, A, yeah. Okay, that we understand, okay? That's we understand the um, periodic table and the quantum number two and two eight is 10 total, okay? We, and then uh, the next is a 10, 18, is 28, something like that. Okay. Now, um, i like to look at um, one of the homework problem. I'm ready. Do you have a question? Class car room. Hello. No, no, online chal rahe, bolo na. Hello. Turn off the microphone, students. Hello, students. Turn off the microphone. Tomanil, Tomanil. Oh, you, unless you have a question to me, you have to turn off your microphone. I can hear you, your conversation. Okay, okay. Um, I, I forgot, what was I talking about? Oh. Yeah, the one of the homework problem, uh, I'm going to talk about it, okay? 6.13, yeah, that was, uh, 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 selenium, selenium, uh, and the constructor configuration, okay? Selenium. Um, too big. Um, the linium according to periodic table is, uh, atomic number is uh, 34. Okay, so you have to construct the 34. Um, the, uh, you know, uh, configuration so that uh, I can start. I can. Okay, I can start um, the table uh, six four. So I can start the um, um, 
obviously uh, uh, 34. So I can start the um, 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 one, quantum number one is uh, up to two. So quantum number is called S. So electron is two, okay? And then move on quantum number two. Uh, well, actually you can follow the diagonal rule, but uh, uh, quantum number two, uh, you can start uh, uh, two subset. So S and, and that is a maximum two. Look at that. And then quantum number two also uh, P. Quantum number P is a six. So electron is now is uh, 12. Okay, now moving on. Three um, S, it, it gotta be two. Okay, this is a three S. I think uh, uh, you you better uh, look at um, you don't have to, but the diagonal rule actually. So two S, two P, three S, and then three P, three P. How many six maximum? And uh, I think. Uh, there are three ten, three uh, D, um, three D ten. Okay. So total is uh, twenty eight, twenty eight. So six more. So another four S two, four S, no, 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 not the four S, four P. Four P four. Then total is 34, okay? So, so that, that's the same as uh, I think it is four. So what, what you have to draw is the first is only two, quantum number one. Quantum number two is a subshell, very close, very close, okay? So that uh, the first one is two, second one is six. As quantum number three, this is a quantum number three. This is a quantum number two, quantum number one, and the quantum number three, there are three subshell. Quantum number three, two, six, ten. Two, six, ten. And then four, quantum number four is two and four. Okay. That's the uh, configuration. Now, my question is, um, uh, how many uh, valence electron? Answer. Please answer so that I can move on. Or it's okay. No, somebody else. Please. Six. Yes. So you have to include this quantum number is a valence, very close. Energy is very close. A little bit less, uh, we can calculate. So this is valence. Any Anyone, any valence electron can be free. Okay, so we have to understand what is a uh, atoms or how uh, it become free. Um, actually, according to the diagonal, after three p, 
before 3D, first the 3S. Interesting. But anyhow, 3D, 3P, uh, it, it, so it's okay, finally. But if, if it is stopped here, then 3, 4S2 is uh, in advance of uh, 3D. Be careful. Okay. That, that you have to uh, follow the diagonal rules. Um, I don't know why. Uh, you can ask to physics student, uh, physics professors, but we have to follow the diagonal rule. Any question? Okay, let's move on now. Um, so, so we, we more or less we understand the valence electrons, uh, how to compute. Uh, that's very important uh, and associated with the uh, electricity actually. So, so we can construct the uh, um, configurations. So, uh, silicon, the valence, because two subshell, it should be four. Four uh, valence electrons. It's very important, and uh, uh, even the uh, appendix. Um, it indicate you should understand the the three group is a valence number three, four, five valence number valence number one. So sometimes uh, in in a uh, semi uh, conductors uh, we need to know for doping uh, what is uh, um, the valence number. So this is the number valence number. Okay. So based on that, uh, silicon is is here. Silicon is here. So in order to uh, one more uh, electron, so the candidate for uh, doping material is a uh, phosphorus. But the less for holes, this is uh, for uh, n-type, minus n-type. But the less, one less, is a boron three that's we can easily find um the uh there are not many uh, semiconductors so only boron silicon germanium uh, arsenide uh, selenium there are few uh available uh, maybe yeah gallium or uh, okay so, so uh, we can use it. Is that the too difficult, students? Say no. <laughs> Somebody say no. <laughs> Is that too difficult? No, sir. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Okay, now uh, a band, a band, uh, uh, energy band. Um, so uh, isolated atom, we know that the S, uh, P uh, subshells, uh, S, P subshell is very important, S, P subshells. Um, S, P subshells. Um, that uh, is uh, when we crystal, okay? So it turns out uh, that the sp each atoms combine, type the combining and the forms a uh, valence band, okay? You, you don't really understand, but uh, 
that forms a, a bail span and then um, there is a forbidden gap and then conduction band conduction band and the valence band forms okay this is crystal so valence band is usually filled electron is a uh, in in the stuck in the atom orbit and then it become free then it's a free and the conduction band so in order to become free this is a band gap we call forbidden band gap is a property of a semiconductor so it has to overcome in order to be free okay so so uh, some energy light or thermal energy or electric field energy all kind of energy required to overcome the band gap band gap is so important okay it's a property of uh, material so uh, band gap uh, silicon is 1.125 uh, electron volt okay um is we can measure it uh bend the gap of, of the material so in order to uh, the electron become free like a solar cell solar cell same um they have to overcome uh this energy bend the gap energy the energy uh, is uh, times the frequency. So frequency um, and uh, light or electron frequency and the energy. That's the energy. So everything is energy in uh, subatomic. Um, so we understand that now. So band gap um, something like that. The silicon, each atoms become uh, um, balance. Uh, we call a balance band and conduction band. And this is H, balance H. Okay. Uh, something like that. Um, this is H. Uh, I will talk about later. Okay. Um, energy. Energy. And uh, uh, this is H. Balance. This is a uh, uh, balance band. Uh, this is H. This is a uh, uh, at of conduction band. So conduction band uh, at we call. So you have to understand that it, it's a, a minimum. Balance is a maximum. Okay, something like so. This is a forbidden. This is uh, sometimes a, no forbidden. Forbidden, yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, bend the gap, bend the gap, okay? Okay, now move on. So, so I discussed in order to um, make, uh, um, usually um, if, if silicon, this is intrinsic, it's energy, some energy, if um, it is become a uh, electron, then there is a hole. <coughs> this hole and then electron. So there is one hole, one electron, there is no gain. 
this is trouble. So what we can do is we can create the just electron without the hole using the uh, doping phosphorus because five, one more electron naturally because uh, silicon has a four valence band, phosphorus has a five, one is left. So that easily we can energy and become free without the hole. So, so that once we use uh, 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 the directly, then we the current, some electric current. Th this is a anti semiconductor. The opposite, one less hole. So it can be whole, can move and field and move. So whole is moving without the electron. So then we can control uh, P type semiconductor by doping we call uh, doping, okay? So uh, doping technique, material guys, they are familiar with it, but anyhow, conceptually, so, so that uh, we can now, I'm gonna move on uh, density of state and Fermi, Fermi energy, energy band, okay? Um, I think, uh, uh, we discussed uh, the um, electric field is, what is the resistivity? Okay, anyhow. Uh, Electrical resistivity. This is electrical conductivity. What is the electrical resistivity uh, symbol? <clears throat> Sometimes I have a stupid question. <laughs> Uh, yeah, raw. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, raw. This is electrical resistivity is inverse of uh, electrical conductivity. So that uh, uh, resistivity Z um, alpha and temperature the same. Okay, it turns out this this is a uh, um, the Ohm's law, Ohm's law, uh, th this become voltage, uh, this become resistance, this is R. So Ohm's law, but we have now um, the uh, thermoelectric, C back. This is a C back. And uh, so we have this. And also we discussed the um, heat flow. Uh, heat flow. Heat flow is uh, a Peltier. Uh, Peltier cooling and conduction. We know that conduction, summer conduction. So, so um, uh, this is the equation, and uh, the K, um, the thermal conduction is now this is very important there is a uh, uh, electric electronic and uh, uh, lattice part lattice so electronic and lattice uh, mostly in mechanical we we handle these lattice the electrical this is electrical so it should be total Okay, if there is a current, we have to include. If there is no current, 
than only lattice. But anyhow, um, the the uh, heat flow uh, for electrical, you, we can say that electrical and temperature and something like this is only a uh, electrical heat flow. That's why uh, if there is a current, there is a heat flow. This is Peltier actually, yeah. But uh, not only a Peltier, there is electron conduction. That's, that's the new, I think you have to understand. Okay, we have to understand uh, there is a electrical, no, electronic, electronic thermal conductivity. Keep in mind. I think this is a new electronic thermal conductivity. We have to understand electronic thermal conductivity. Okay. Okay. Now, um, the according to uh, Bohr's model, um, the momentum P is a momentum uh, electron momentum. And uh, uh, turns out the uh, yeah we we got the uh, the bro e uh, and then we come up with this. So wavelengths is is uh, uh, just inverse of uh, momentum. So uh, k now I think. Uh, uh, mechanical engineers, uh, we are not familiar with. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, the the thermal conductivity, but there is another K, is uh, wave number. I think uh, now we introduce. It. So I'm sorry, I I, I could not uh, introduce. Um, another symbol because this is very common wave number so uh, but you have to figure out okay so now we have a wave number k okay wave number so wave number wave number wave number k is definition is inverse of wavelengths but the two pi so that the uh, meaning is wavelengths, the wave inverse is wave number. So it's smaller, the larger. Larger wavelengths, smaller. It's a weird but very convenient uh, um, wave number. So once we use wave number, it uh, uh, if you plug in and uh, it is wave number because of uh, uh, inverse of that uh, wave number is proportional so it's a very important uh, wave number is uh, momentum over uh, this is uh, uh, Planck number constant plan constant um, h bar is i think h over 2 pi so so something like that okay so it's uh, um, uh, the k is wave number is is a kind of momentum a uh, different uh, quantity but uh, momentum so um energy of electron energy of electron is kinetic energy obviously uh, mv square and uh, uh, this is um uh, mv uh, Square square two m is mv is p p 
P is HK. So P square to M is P is uh, HK. So H square K square to M energy. This is interesting now in terms of wave number. Okay, in terms of wave number. So we like to um, the K and uh, uh, the um, um, energy is H frequency uh, or um, H bar to pi frequency is H bar omega. Okay, so this is the same uh, the uh, frequency uh, so we call uh, this is a, a frequency also okay the same frequency two pi um, and uh, so uh, energy is a uh, is a uh, nothing more than frequency so that the, I can say um, energy is a uh, k square uh, something uh, something something like that curvature. Okay, that that's what um, we um, between um, yeah. Th this is uh, actually uh, the uh, uh, the unit cell, one unit cell. It, it's a center. So one unit cell. Um, something like that. Not not the uh, the. Uh, I think uh, um, here uh, I'm saying unit cell is a K space now. Uh, it's confusing. Okay, students, uh, you should feel familiar. We are mechanical engineers. We are not familiar with the K space. Because the K space is totally opposite of a, a real space. Because K, K is inverse of a, a wavelength. So K is small, wave is large, small, small, small. So zero, this is a large, uh, very, I, I, I think the specimen length is a zero, large, very large, not the zero, but very close to zero. And uh, this is boundary is uh, the shortest, what is the shortest? This is largest k. What do you think uh, largest k? Anyone? What, what is the maximum k do you think? Is it the maximum is the shortest length? What is the shortest wavelength? Please. You should know that. What would be shortest wavelengths? Lattice. Lattice. Huh? We, we discussed the lattice is the smallest uh, unit cell. So the K space is so weird. Just the one we call one unit cell take care of whole entire unit but the boundary is is now is a shell it you know the uh, the unit cell it's atoms it's atoms up to atom size a a is a lattice uh, uh, 
uh, yeah, something like that. Okay, so um, and uh, um, according to some analysis, um, the the wave, wave, each electron. So so many, so many, so many electron. But the interesting is if you sum the the wave, it will form the uh, a part. You know. So it's like a particle. Exactly, it's like a particle. Parts. Parts. Okay. So electron is, is moving like a, that's why we call um, average velocity of electron. Okay. So we can express in terms of energy. Uh, I'm not going to go to detail, but the F equal MA, all kind of uh, Newton's law. And, uh, and then interesting. This is very interesting. Uh, we just come up with it uh, because this is F equal M A, um, and uh, uh, it turns out that this is kind of mass inverse of mass. So energy H is constant, K is uh, K space uh, second derivative. The first and second derivative, if the energy is function of k, second derivative, this is something mass. We call effective mass because uh, the energy electron is moving, moving around, and there is atoms, there is atoms, atoms. Energy is a totally there is a um, is a there is a potential. The electron is affected by the atoms around atoms. So moving is is not just uh, one dimensional. It's uh, so complicated because of uh, of energy uh, electron uh, Coulomb forces. It's very complicated. So not just the uh, uh, electron is um, uh, what is a k square to m. No, this is not working. So what we are thinking is instead of m, effective mass. Something. Once we calculate the energy second derivative. Then we can include all effect of, of uh, so so that we can still use energy equation. That's a, so smart people. It, we call a dispersion relation. Okay. So as long as we use effective, is experimentally or numerically we can come up with it. Then still we can use one dimensional analytical equation. That's the power of analysis. Any question? I'd like to move on. So we use effective effective mass. Okay. Then real. This is real. Okay. Now um so we realistic uh, <clears throat> The k is a vector. Wave uh, uh, number is a wave. Uh, uh, actually, vector. Okay, I, I'm not really distinguishing here, but the wave number is a wave vector. Vector means uh, magnitude and directions. Okay, so that uh, x, y, z direction, even. Uh, the effective mass, I'm not using star sometimes, uh, effective mass, x, y, very complicated. 
x, y, z direction. So according to uh, definition, uh, it, it's a principal effective mass, x, y, z. And uh, uh, we don't know, but the k is x, y, z direction. We don't know x, y, z, but so when I look at this, this is a spherical equation, isn't it? X, Y, Z, spherical, X, Y, Z. So, so uh, K space, K space, it should be spherical. If if there is no uh, any effect, it is a uh, no uh, potential energy, but it is spherical. But there is a potential some uh, complicate. Then uh, <laughs> the spherical sphericity is deformed. Uh, we are not material guy, but uh, more or less we like to understand. Okay, the K space um, a little bit. Okay, um, the what I found is uh, the mechanical students very difficult to approach uh, this kind of uh, solid state physics. It is a field. So they, they talk about this um, because they use different uh, language. The books are not familiar. It's very difficult. I found it. So what I did, I tried to make uh, easy for mechanical students. This is my book. So you can read. Um, I, I like to hear from you. You already have some do homework. You read the book. Uh, would that be understandable? Somebody say something. The book. Or, or very difficult. Say something. Uh, to be honest, you know, no one say something? I'd, I'd say overall. Thanks. Yeah, I think it's kind of, you can read it, right? At least. Yeah, that's what I did it for you, okay? The other books, very difficult. Very difficult to read it. But my book, you can read it. You can understand. Um, that's the... I spent a lot of time for mechanical engineer. Why? I think a thermoelectric is something we have to also handle it. I, I told you there is some part uh, mechanical, and and then we have to understand some physics. Okay, that's that's what happened. Now, um, so I don't want to go detail here, but. Uh, uh, I think uh, B, I have to move on to B. Uh, yeah. So um, that's now we understand K space. Okay, spherical nature of uh, it, 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 it is very um, simple. Okay, there is no uh, uh, potential energy around very simple one spec but the real one i like to show you the real one is complicated a little bit um, the um yeah <laughs> the, the the energy the surface is some something uh, 3D, 3D is 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 a very uh, deformed because of uh, real. Okay, uh, uh, later I'm gonna talk about it. 
anyhow, uh, at this moment, uh, uh, just a uh, spectacle, and um, and then um, um, what uh, is we come up with is um, uh, density of state per uh, volume. So how many uh, density? Um, how many electron? So actually, if you atoms, how many atoms we can calculate? And uh, assuming uh, monovalence, it's not necessarily mono, but mono, mon which means only one electron, monovalence, only one, assume. And then somehow we can come up with this. Okay, this is the density. Uh, and we use uh, uh, the effective mass. Uh, even more than that, density of state effective mass. Density of state effective mass. You have to really, I'm going to use it. The name, effective mass, but specific uh, density of uh, state. Uh, states effective mass. Okay, we call M uh, star effective, but uh, D density of state. This is the specific. Uh, uh, as long as I define, um, so. M density of state effective mass is uh, x direction mass effective y direction and uh, z direction one third. Okay, but um, uh, this is a general, very general, even. Okay, uh, <clears throat> but uh, usually. <clears throat> Usually the direction is um, turns out the uh, longitudinal and uh, transverse, transverse or longitudinal. So um, M L and uh, M X Y is T square usually. So it, it, look at that. Uh, um, the silicon is a uh, kind of uh, longitudinal and, and, and something like a spheroid. Something like a spheroid. So uh, trend is is the uh, same, and then longitudinal. This is T to T and one L. Uh, transverse and longitudinal usually uh, it turns out, or this is ideal. Okay, spherical. Yeah, look look at that. Something like that. I hope uh, there's nothing wrong we understand, yes or no? Is, is that too difficult? You can raise a question, transverse. Uh, exactly. What's a concise definition for that? So that the effective mass. Oh, again. Okay. I, I explained already, you missed that. Um, the, uh, okay, next. Um, the, the electrons, uh, 1D, there is no any other forces. Um, that is energy is 2mh square k square. Do you understand that or not? 
That's what I derived. This is kinetic energy in terms okay. of, okay? Yeah. This M is ele electron mass. No, there are no other forces. But actually, electron moving in the solid, there's a lot of atoms and ionized uh, atoms, all kind of uh, potential, so complicated. So we use effective mass to describe real. This is real. I don't know, but suppose real. That's effective mass. Do you understand now? Or not? It's very difficult to find, but uh, the, according to the definition, yes. If you understand, say yes. Otherwise, I will rephrase. Yeah, for a rephrase. Rephrase? Yes, please. Uh, uh, do you understand the electron, this pure electron? Yes or no? Yeah. So well, then, then the this electron. is uh, with the effect of potential in the real solid. That's all. Make sense? Or not? Kind of. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> you don't have to really understand that as long as you, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the one dimensional electron without uh, any. Uh, any others uh, uh, moving, that's the electron mass. But now electron is around the atoms, all around the atoms. And then moving so complicated, this is effective mass. Okay? Yeah. So okay. the, the uh, physics, material science, um, they actually compute electron atoms moving and forces or Coulomb forces and, and compute the effective mass X, Y, Z. Actually, so complicated. Numerical computation. Okay, anyhow. So in in general, uh, we the numerical computation they is not the all. Numerical computation sometimes powerful, but sometimes uh, is hard to understand. So analytical analysis is necessary. Analytical, theoretical analysis. That's what I'm doing. Okay, to understand not only a numerical but the uh, analytical. Yes. So we have a mass now. Um, the uh, this is a so uh, important uh, Fermi uh, direct distribution. Um, so this is a, a statistic um, result, a lot of work uh, we call Fermi distribution. So what the Fermi distribution is um, the electron can be free or not. Uh, there is a, some distribution in the solid with the temperature. That distribution was founded. That's the so important. So when we draw Fermi distribution, the function, actually, the function is yes or no, zero. The function tells us zero or one. One is yes, electron. Zero is no, is a balance. One is yes, conduction is free. 
so that uh, that is depending on the temperature look at that distribution um and uh, when temperature is zero wow absolute zero then just jump step jump from zero but uh, if temperature increases look at that this is temperature and distribution along depend on the energy depend th this is energy this is energy okay ah but uh, not only energy they say fermi energy fermi energy a certain energy fermi energy zero is this so depend on the fermi energy depend on the fermi energy okay that that's the they found the fermi energy so what is the fermi energy is there we don't know very complicated in 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 equation there is a fermi energy okay so we call a fermi energy um anyhow get the distribution they say okay once it is distribution they say okay now um we have a density okay we call uh i think uh, i said uh, yeah density g density you know okay we we as long as uh some uh, material uh energy depend on the energy it, it, it's a uh, it, interesting is uh, uh square root energy energy square root energy so something um something like uh, what is it energy and this is a density something like that it turns out okay the others are, are just uh, constant so that's the density number of electron so that must be a distribution because depend on the energy and the integrate from zero to infinity about the respect to energy that is number of electron that's the very interesting um so n is a concept we call constant electron consideration is a uh, number of electron per uh cubic volume centimeter something like that concentration number of electron so number of electron is integration from infinity and uh, density of state times distribution gotta be distribution because not all depend on the energy fermi energy we don't know fermi energy but uh, we don't know fermi energy but it gotta be something like that okay so um it's a very interesting yeah physics now uh i'm sorry the um the um the that's the uh i have to tell you equilibrium or oh, we don't know in equilibrium equilibrium it, it, it's the same temperature same temperature if it is same temperature then this is the distribution so if it is a non-equilibrium we don't know f but equilibrium zero 
it's the same temperature, then yes, we know. So number of electron we can compute uh, with equilibrium, yes, gold, I think. Uh, so um, we can do that. Now plug in the uh, density of state equations. The others are constant, you take it out. And the energy here, including uh, Fermi energy, we don't know what is Fermi energy, but energy and Fermi energy. Um, then uh, this is the equation, N. Okay, um, but the, another way we can do some uh, uh, computation. For example, um, this is so smart, uh, so smart. Um, the, I think listen carefully, the uh, electrons, no, 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 atoms, atoms, okay, so solid. If, uh, say, say uh, uh, mono uh, in the beginning, okay, monovalence, so only one uh, monovalence, it could be more, but monovalence, so one, so gold. Gold is a monovalence. How do you know monovalence? Anyone explain? Actually, gold is a monovalence. How do you know? Anyone? That's just to say, I don't need a numeric, but to say, how, how do we know? Come on. <laughs> Uh, hint is a valence electron. So we construct the uh, electron configuration. The, the quantum number, last quantum number, and then look at, and then look at the valence electron. So gold must be a, a valence electron one. So, so we call a, a monovalence. Okay. Anyhow, so if if everything is free, everything is free. That is a most maximum. We call Fermi condition, Fermi energy, or Fermi. That that's what we call Fermi. Um, K space. So suppose K, Fermi K space, Fermi specific, uh, Fermi K, um, it's a uh, spherical, four, four, three pi K. That's the total. That's the total K. Total K. And then two is a Pauli. Each electron, there can be another uh, spin, Pauli. So two, the total number of electrons possible. <clears throat> and then what would be volume? I don't know. Uh, volume over K, volume over K is, Volume, the volume of K is 2 pi L, lambda. Lambda is the largest, largest. This is the volume. Volume is a small, real volume is a small K. So smallest K value, small, small. Hermetic small k value, smallest. So this is total volume of a sphere divided by smallest 
that is a total number. That is a, actually so smart. I, I don't, you don't have to really understand, but the basic is like that. Okay. So, so, um, you, you can, uh, calculate, uh, let's say a volume is a L cubic value. So total number, uh, using the cube L is a volume. And the NV is N. That's the N uh, electric concentration. Look at that. So K is, we found it. Um, the Fermi K number is that. Okay. So, so that uh, instead of K, we plug in the Fermi. That is Fermi energy. Now, something we, we, we can figure out the Fermi energy. What well, this is a maximum Fermi energy. Um, or in terms of N. If, if we know the Fermi energy, we can compute the, we can compute the, the uh, electron concentration. Okay. I hope uh, you follow me, not completely, but as long as. Okay. So, so a relationship between, um, th this is, we talk about gold, uh, metal only, metal. Okay. Metal only. Uh, not not the semiconductor metal only uh, because we said the uh, one total atom monovalence totally free and Fermi energy something like that. So this is now we can compute if we know the concentration electron we can compute the Fermi energy, Fermi energy relationship. Once we know that, wow, we can compute the velocity because of MB, um, momentum. So we can compute the momentum. Actually, there's people calculating. This is amazing. Just people are so smart. <laughs> Uh, they calculated the, about the 10 to the 8 meter per second. No, not the meter, centimeter per second. So, so, uh, it's about one, one hundredth of uh, speed of light. But anyhow, so Fermi energy is, uh, even absolute zero, it's a 1% of velocity. It's amazing, uh, you know, the, it is uh, so amazing. Actually, this is very close to the real value of uh, electron velocity, no matter what. Okay, and uh, and then once we know the velocity and the and the mean prepass, um, because tau is a relaxation time, we say that is a, a time between the collision. You know, electron move and collide. So between the collision uh, is what we call relaxation time, and then we can compute the mean free pass. A little bit, uh, I'm gonna discuss more, but uh, something like that velocity, electron, um, and uh, electrogenation time, and uh, mean prepass. Uh, because, uh, as I mentioned before, that the grain, uh, the micron, the grain uh, of a, a material, this is a grain boundary. And usually, um, the the wave particle moving and scattered at the boundary. The particle. 
so so that uh, we we need uh, this particle uh, mean prepass of the particle. So so mean prepass a particle and associate with the grain boundary to design nano technology. Uh, we will discuss later. Anyhow, so uh, this is electron, but particle the same. Okay. Now. Uh, Fermi energy in gold. Do do you think uh, you can look at it? Uh, let's look at it. Uh, gold crystal FCC, and uh, we know the lattice constant is 4.08. Lattice. Uh, let me look at it. The um, there is uh, some. Uh, D2, actually D2, look at the, the valence, you know, the uh, uh, silicon is 14 to 2, look at that. You, and then aluminum uh, 3, what was uh, selenium is a 2, I think this is homework, we did it, some, some information of the gold, gold is a one son mono valence because only one here. Um, what was I looking for? I forgot. The, what were you looking for? Anyone? What am I looking? For? Uh oh 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 lettuce. Yeah, lettuce. I'm sorry. Lattice of uh, gold, AU is 4.08, FCC, information is there. Okay, so lattice, uh, Angstrom, uh, one Angstrom is uh, how many nanometer, anyone? Do you know that? No one knows. I think 10, 10 nanometers on Angstrom. Angstrom is smaller than nanometers. Okay, anyhow, yeah. So, where is a, a B? Okay, now. So we, we have uh, uh, this number, and every gold has uh, one valence band. We know that. Estimate the electron Fermi energy. Fermi velocity, wavelengths. Let's look at it. So FCC, uh, how many lattice point? We, we know that, four, OK? Four, four atoms per lattice. Okay, uh, FCC. So that uh, lattice constant is this. So we can calculate the density. All we need is a number of, uh, wow, number of uh, atoms which is each atom provide one electron. So this number per cubic centimeter must be electron concentration. Um, I, I like to ask you, if you understand this, frankly, say yes. If you don't, don't say yes. Anyone so far? No one understand? That makes sense. No, don't say it uh, makes sense. Say yes. Yes. How many yes? Another? Yeah, I know, I know. This is not easy. It's a lot of things. But we discussed already that this point, 
is the number of atoms per lattice. So once we know that, then the uh, uh, lattice, this is size. Well, then this is the number of atoms, the number of atoms same as the number of electrons. So this is a electron concentration. Once n, I can use, a, calculate the electron Fermi energy because the Fermi energy is so complicated. But we just calculated 5.52. It's in terms of joule or in terms of electron volt. It's a huge 5.52 electron volt. Anyhow, we calculate it. And then, um, Fermi velocity, once we have that, I think we can calculate the uh, uh, Fermi energy and then Fermi velocity, yes, we can calculate uh, 10 to the 6 meter per second. I told you we calculate it. And uh, electron wavelengths, we calculate it. So smart. <laughs> Electron wavelengths we calculated for gold. Amazing. This is amazing. Uh, um, I think, uh, yeah, now, wow. I need a break. I'm sorry. I need a break for 10 minutes. I'm so tired. Okay. See you.
I'm back. Um, so, uh, so in case of metal, somehow we figure out the, um, the Fermi energy, but uh, uh, in semiconductor, um, first we know the, the uh, reduced energy E minus uh, EF over KDT. Um, K is a Boltzmann constant is, we know the much greater than one. We will discuss later. But uh, anyhow, we know that in this case, um, then uh, this is much greater than one, then one is a negligible. So one is a negligible, then the exponent uh, we can express. So you use that and integrate, and then we come up with uh, uh, electron concentration in terms of, uh, yeah, look at that. So this is exponents um, Fermi energy, Fermi energy, just inverse calculating. Uh, natural law because of so e even we can calculate um, semiconductors if it is semiconductors then we can calculate using this okay so uh, let's look at it uh, what happened um, if it is a, a doped semiconductor it turns out, uh, now um, I have to, um, the um, density of state is uh, energy root, you know, uh, we, we know that. So this is the density. And um, uh, what happened is, no, I think we have to go back and look at the, oh, I, I haven't, yeah. So uh, this is metal. Uh, it turns out a very high, 5.5 electron volt, something like that very high. It turns out, uh, um, the, so if we apply the um, a Fermi direct distribution, depend on the temperature. If the temperature is zero, then is is something like that. Okay, so um, then uh, maybe depend on the temperature, uh, you know, depend on the temperature, okay? So uh, the this is very high. Um, because uh, based on the zero here, very high number of uh, electron. Yes, it is. That's why very high number of electrons for gold. Now, if it turns out, it turns out uh, the semiconductor, the Fermi energy is is uh, less than or below because of uh, the forbidden gap, band gap. This is a, a EC conduction. This is a valence. This is a, a band gap. This is a band gap. Uh, this is a, a kind of you can say that. Um, so balance band and conduction band and the band gap, the 
Fermi energy is less than that, something like that, somewhere between uh, edges. So in the band gap. So again, the distribution uh, apply. This is the only electron, so small. Small electron. There is a large uh, density of state, but the occupied is small. This is N. Uh, the density of state is large, but n is small because of distribution. Turns out, okay, that's what happened. Uh, now, um, example, uh, yeah, example is uh, silicon is widely used and uh, is doped. Uh, once it's doped, we know the N doping uh, determine the Fermi energy N type. Semiconductor doped with the phosphorus electron concentration because of doping. We know that at the 300. So knowing electron concentration and the temperature, what would be Fermi energy? So that uh, using equations, N equations, we know the uh, the uh, uh, effective mass. Suppose is is complicated, but we know, and the Boltzmann constant temperature, 300 K pi. This is known, a uh, Planck constant. Uh, and uh, this is known, known, known. So we can calculate, uh, look at that, Fermi energy using the, so Fermi energy minus 0.146. So according to this, I think, uh, again, so, because I told you we have a sign zero energy and then minus below. So it's about uh, uh, below. Uh, I think uh, uh, about the silicon uh, band gap. Um, is a experiment of uh, silicon is about 1.1 electron volt, about 1.1. So the, uh, according to calculation, minus 0.1, I forgot, uh, minus 0.146. Uh, So it's small compared to uh, 1.1, something like that. This is total is 1.1, something like that. So we know that uh, this is about uh, Fermi energy. Fermi energy, we can calculate, uh, okay, something like that. So, now uh, energy band um, is um, you know semiconductor um, the conduction band valence band is a uh, this is a eg is band gap uh, band gap um, Insulator is too large, so that very difficult electron. 
and the metal, uh, this is a Fermi energy, is, as I told you, is a, in the middle of a, a conduction band, so many uh, electrons. Okay, something like that. So uh, now uh, conduction band. Um, because uh, I told you uh, energy is H K square to M. So K square is uh, now we understand uh, something like that. This is zero. Okay, that, that's what we uh, are saying. Uh, zero is conduction band adds. You know, analytically, some people, they don't. But here, um, we did it. The zero energy is conduction band adds. Okay, understand? Uh, K square. And then this is valence band and the edge. So this is the edge of a valence band at the difference EC, EV is band gap. Uh, band gap is, um, is happening uh, because of uh, quantum energy. You know, quantum energy, um, the usually the soft shell uh, S and P the the gap is small but uh, usually create some band gap something like that okay some some energy um, but the, sometimes uh, there are more than one um the valley turns out so, so typically three you know heavy valence band the same as a conduction band and then light very close maybe not exactly and then uh split off a little bit off uh something uh we call a valley one, two, three, barely, very close. So uh, three barely, um, that's why barely, uh, I think I said, uh, did I say? No, I didn't say that, but uh, when we derive, Yeah, the usually a uh, number of uh, value, not only one, two, three possible. So n can be more than one value. Okay, possible. Yeah. So far, any question? So band, uh, we have a. Uh, uh, yeah, talk about energy band. Yeah. Now, since the we this is the K value, yeah, K energy in the K value. Uh, typically, the K is a momentum. So energy and the momentum is conserved um, so that the uh, uh, jump, uh, once the energy is enough, it, it can jump and become free conduction band. But the, according to some measurement, the 
the k uh, value does not match k value. But still, uh, because uh, once as long as the energy reaches um, this, uh, the the energy k is uh, frequency, uh, so that uh, the phonon there is a, always a, there is a phonon effect, so so that it can uh, become free. So. Um, some electric um, direct, this is direct A uh, gap, but indirect gap, something different, K value, uh, is also possible, usually possible. It's okay for, for some more electric energy because of uh, some energy always around some more energy. So as long as energy, then there is a free electron, no problem. The only uh, a laser, uh, laser require the direct band material. So I like to look at some material. Um, what is this? What is this? What is this? Um, look at that. The, uh, I think I we're too early. I need uh, more explanation. Let's 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 move a little bit more. Okay. So that um, what happened? Um, the K uh, and the uh, real. This is the uh, atoms. A suppose a uh, one dimensional and the between atoms there is a always a, a potential energy Be, because of uh, as long as atoms there is a coulomb forces attraction repulsion so it is a uh, far and attraction too close repulsion so, so is a forces around. So electron is moving. There is a forces. That's why we use um, uh, effective mass. Anyhow, so we like to model it mathematically. Um, the potential like uh, uh, this is a uh, ideal, not, you know, something modeling. Um, height is u, okay, a, the distance a, a, b, a, a, b, and then using the, um, um, the Schrodinger wave equations, including the, now, the potential, okay, this is energy we discussed before, and then energy is between zero and A is zero, B minus B is a U naught, some certain value. So that uh, uh, this is U naught, zero or U naught, zero or U naught, depend on the X. So when we compute uh, mathematically uh, the wave equations, and uh, uh, it's solving, it turns out, uh, uh, so uh, it, it's an equation, and then uh, we had some assumption, and then um, the difficulty with some assumption, we come up with this, and, uh, and then solving it, it is very interesting because of uh, cosine is uh, the only uh, plus or minus one, actually no more than that. But this equation is indicate more than plus or minus one. It's impossible, impossible. We call forbidden, impossible. So only possible is this. 
so what happened here is um, the this is the uh, uh, the uh, k value electron and and uh, parabolic but actually is impossible um happen forbidden because of nature of, of uh, um, potential so this is forbidden okay uh, uh, forbidden so well the people uh, k value the only k value is between these two is okay the other is we can move into only one so so that uh, one um that's uh, that's uh, they call uh first the brilliant john then include everything this is everything one john brilliant john k space <laughs> It's amazing. Uh, it's hard to understand for a mechanical engineer, but uh, K space including everything. This is forbidden. Forbidden. So uh, this is something S and P. There is a forbidden, and there might be some uh, uh, Fermi energy possible. We don't know, but possibly. Because uh, uh, the semiconductor, we need uh, we need uh, it locate the Fermi energy somewhere between sp. That's what happened. Okay. Um, This is a real, this is a real uh, computation. Um, th th this is a, a, a all direction, something like uh, this is pi a, pi a minus. So look at that, something like that, and then something like that. And then there is a, another valley. Well, actually, if you look at the valley is divided by two, so it's a three valley. Three valley, because look at that. I think there are third. Um, and and then uh, this is another uh, uh, forbidden. This is a one forbidden, this is another forbidden. And uh, I think this is a 3S3P, something like that, the shell, self-shell, so that we can express three-dimensional, actually, look at that, uh, Berlin John, K-space. <laughs> Students, do you understand? This is kind of, uh, we said, the uh, unit cell, but one unit cell of K include everything whole okay whole so so that you can discuss directional directional a uh or, or kind of direction so this is l direction x direction k and then this is density density uh, you know g uh, density of energy this is energy and then they found fermi energy is here they found the fermi energy here so so this must be uh is a can you say this is a, a direct bend or indirect band anyone hmm?
direct bend gap or indirect bend gap. This is real one. Somebody direct. tell me. Direct or indirect? Direct. Direct or indirect? What, what, what are you saying? Direct or indirect? Or pronounce it clearly. Direct. Got it? Why? Because k value is a different value. This is k value. This is k value. This k and this k is a different k value. So direct or indirect? Do we have to go back and check again? This is direct, this is indirect. K value is different here and here. This is the same, K value is the same, energy. This is direct, this is indirect, because different K value, K, K value. So this is, Direct or indirect uh, bend gap material? Come on. Indirect? Indirect, yes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, this material is indirect. Uh, but is that be okay for summer electric? Yes or no? Yes or no? Indirect bend gap. Is useful for uh, some electric material? Yes or no? No one understand what I said. Answer is yes. The why? Why it is yes? If it is a uh, or is this indirect bend gap can be used for laser application? Yes or no? Answer is no. Because laser require direct bend gap. But some electric, yes, because of phonon associated. Always energy, as long as the energy level, and then some uh, phonon associate, it can take care of it. We talk about phonon later. Okay, let's move on. Now, um, shall we? I think a little bit I'd like to discuss more about the bend gap now. Bend the diagram. This is copper. This is copper is um, it copper is a really um, uh, this is clear and uh, and then something like that. And then that's a weird something like that. And the Fermi energy is here, huge. Fermi is huge, anyhow. So that uh, uh, this is a uh, Z density of state. 
density of state energy. Um, so actually measurement, uh, you know, band gap and electron, look at that. People <laughs> measure, measure. This is a measurement. How many uh, electrons uh, and measurement? Uh, by the way, uh, we understand this is uh, metal. So many electrons. Now, look at uh, what is this? Is I think it is a silicon? No, magnesium. Um, so that we have, uh, yeah, indirect we discussed. So it's useful. This is useful um, as long as we have a, a band diagram we call. So something like uh, once we have a band diagram, then we can analyze this is how we can use in some electric. Okay. And uh, what is the uh, energy uh, band gap? Uh, band gap is uh, band gap. What is a uh, band gap? We, band gap is uh, here and here. This is band gap. Band gap. We can calculate. Uh, look at that band gap. Okay. And where we're gonna put some um, doping even idea? Doping must be doping must be somewhere between here doping. So so that it can easily create. Um, so band diagram is important. Uh, now, um, I like a little bit, uh, this is so important, uh, Fermi's piece, now we a little bit understand, this is Fermi energy surface, Fermi energy surface, in, in terms of uh, brilliant John, first brilliant John, and this is everything. Once we have this, this because it's a repeat. This is whole. This unit is a whole entire because of K space. And uh, this indicate uh, um, the the look at that. The conduction band is is this is energy uh fermi energy is look at that conduction band so so uh, two uh, band uh, actually it create the hole here create the hole um so so uh sometimes the material guys they construct uh, this is um uh, fermi energy surface so probably we now studied the, what is the fermi energy what is the fermi energy surface it's a maximum electron talk about it and uh, uh, this might be might be a practically high but that's the highest electron uh, we understand that and um, what uh, I like to talk about uh, yeah now uh, this is light um, and uh, the black body, and uh, this is the intensity and the wavelengths, um, and the visible is I think a point four point seven about. Yeah, this is a visible.
feasible wavelengths are 0.4 to 0.7 micron. And uh, energy, in terms of energy, wavelengths 0 0.4, 0 0.0, point, uh, you, we can calculate the, because of uh, Point two to one point eight two eight about um, two about a electron volt okay electron volt uh, because energy is h uh, frequency so so we you can calculate uh, frequency. And uh, uh, black body is, and then this is the solar, uh, solar, uh, very close to black body. And this is a uh, uh, violet, uh, this is uh, red, something like the color, yellow, something, rainbow color. Um, the blue. Uh, <clears throat> so um, this is a silicon. Um, and uh, the silicon is about 1.1, and then the rest is it cannot uh, uh, absorb absorb absorptivity or uh, absorption coefficient um, is a inverse of centimeter, you know. So that uh, high frequency visible uh, ultraviolet is very high micron absorptivity. Okay, we understand that absorptivity is micron because uh, look at that. So that it the skin. Uh, it absorbs a very high micron skin. That's why it damages ultraviolet. Okay, so we need a cream for that. We understand. Uh, silicon has a limitation. Um, the uh, solar. Look at that. Solar is, is this is solar. So. Absorptivity is only absorbable here between these two. Okay, so uh, what about the ultraviolet uh, uh, high frequency, uh, sh you know, uh, short wavelengths, and then also uh, infrared? The silicon is not the best material for solar energy, it's a waste because it cannot absorb solar energy. Uh, gener germanium is better. Germanium is a better material for solar cell because of more um, absorbed uh, than the silicon. Gallium arsenide is better, even higher. So in terms of here, germanium is the best here. Oh, I'm uh, oh, time is oh, run out of time. I'm sorry. What? What can I do? Uh, anyhow, little. Uh, I like to. Uh, yeah, something like that. So, if we understand the frequency and uh, absorptivity, even material, uh, I like to talk about um, uh, diamond. 
homework. Diamond is a bend gap. Uh, is about uh, I forgot. Yeah, about five electron volt. Uh, let me see. Yeah, five point seven diamond. So in order to um, diamond is five. The five is here. Diamond. So what happened is, um, uh, in order to absorb uh, the, this is five electron volt. So in order, in order to absorb, if light is coming, it should be higher than this energy, but uh, the solar is not enough. Solar uh, frequency is not enough to be absorbed. That's why it's transparent. The other material is absorbed because other material, even even the uh, uh, 300 degree copper, uh, is it is absorbed so so that it uh, it's absorbed. Okay, so it's opaque, but the diamond is is transparent because it passes uh, diamond uh, light is coming is passes not absorbed that is the reason why diamond is transparent because of energy band gap is high that important now you understand the band gap um, I think I have to stop it um, we have some homework uh, we will discuss later. Any question? So it's, it's very useful to understand the bent gap, even the, uh, um, the uh, color. Yeah, uh, we, we can discuss it later. OK, any, any question? OK, yeah, see you next hour. Bye. Bye, sir. Okay, bye. Bye, sir. Bye.